Welcome back everyone, this is Wilox 6th grade, lesson 15. And today we'll be going over multiplication, division, division with uh, the remainders and remainders, and these come multiple. So let's get started. So basically, this week, um, multiplication, these two, I, I kind of did all of these a little bit to kind of just go over it or explain it more in detail. So it's easier to go along, well, for you guys to go along. So, um, when you're multiplying big numbers like this, the way you set it up is with you want to make sure that everything uh, matches the place value. So it's not left to right, it's right to left for multiplication usually. So it would be like, it would look like this basically. So uh, your ones places have to match, to uh, tens places and hundreds places have to match. You, you cannot put it like this. If you put it like this, this will be wrong. This, this is completely wrong. Um, whoops. So excuse me um <clears throat> when you do it i already solved the problem but it's, you pretty much just go down seven times four and then down and then down from six to four and then you move to the next number so seven times seven seven times seven and seven six times seven so it will look like this and um i'll do one real quick so 207 let's just say times 36 uh, 7 times 6 is 2, 4 goes on top, 6 times 0 is 0 times, plus 4, which means 4, 2 times 6 is 12, <clears throat> 7 times 7 is 49, so 4, 4 goes on top, I, can, I don't really have to change it, so 7 times 0 will be 0, but you have to put the 4, okay, and lastly, oh wait, sorry, pardon me, I, I can't even roll my, read my own handwriting, that is sad. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, also one more thing. When you're multiplying like this and you have to do the next number and whatever, if this number over here, you do that one, um, you have to put placeholders. So it would be like, you put an X right here in the ones place and you would start from the tens place. Three times seven is one. Two goes on top. Two, I mean, zero times three is zero, plus two. So you put two. Six times, I mean, three times two is six. So six, and at the, at the end, you want to add it all. So two plus nothing is just two. Four plus one is five. Two plus two is four. And one plus six is seven. And uh, <clears throat> this is how you do this. This is pretty, it's pretty much this. It's not that difficult. Um, you guys really shouldn't have too much trouble doing this. But yes, there's two, four, five, two. Okay, moving on. Division, no remainder. So this is pretty much just, these two are pretty much the same thing. It's just this one is a little extra step at the end, which I'll show you. Um, just do an easy one real quick. So 714 divided by 6. So whatever, you see, number go, number in front, the number you're dividing from, um, you were to put it in the box. So you're going to put it in the box. So, all right, let's do this real quick. So 6 goes to 7 once. All right, so 6 times 1 is 6 minus... 7 minus 6 is 1. 6 cannot go into 1, so you bring another, you bring the 1 down. 6 can go into 11 once. Right? 6 times 6 is 1. Answer is 5. Right? <clears throat> so from this, 6 cannot go into 5, which would mean that you would have to bring the 6 down. So 6 goes into 50. 6 goes into 50, hang on one second, this isn't right, oh, I see the problem, okay, this is supposed to be a 4, yeah, this is supposed to be a 4, so, 4 comes down, sorry about that, 7 with 4, um, and 6 goes into 54, 9 times. So your answer is 119. One, one, and that's all you got to do because it perfectly fits, right? 6 times 9 is 54. Subtract it out. 0. Nothing remains. So you don't have to do anything else from here. It's just, this is just your answer. <clears throat> Alright, moving on. So this is pretty much the same thing, except this will have remainders. And it's just pretty, remainders is pretty much the number that you have left that you can't divide from or bring any numbers down to help divide it. So by that, I'll just, I'll just show you how to do it. So, <clears throat> just do this one real quick. 8 divided by 6, 1, 9, 
four, three. So don't get intimidated by the big numbers because it's pretty much the same thing over and over again. So it's not too difficult or there's no extra steps. You just gotta just make sure you're gonna organize your numbers and make sure you don't lose pacing. So but so I recommend keeping placeholders, you know, just kept having everything um, fall on top of each other like this. And it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So <clears throat> eight cannot go into six, so you do the next numbers. Eight can go into sixty one, I believe seven times. Okay, seven times eight is um fifty six, I believe. I'll make sure. Just <laughs> kind of rusty. Uh, yeah, fifty six. Okay, so <clears throat> you bring this down. Sixty one minus fifty six is five. So eight cannot go into five. So you bring the nine down. All right. It can go into 59 again seven times. So 56 subtracted. Three would be uh, re result of the subtraction. So three A cannot go into three. So you have to bring the four down, right? And when you bring the four down, it'll be A can go A can go into 34 approximately four times. Okay, eight times eight eight times four is 32. And excuse my handwriting, so it's kind of hard drawing on the mouse. But um, eight can go into thirty-two, or sorry, two. This would be the answer. Two. You bring it down. It's thirty-four now. starting to two. Two. Eight can't go into two, so you bring the three down. Twenty-three. Eight can't go into twenty. Eight can go into twenty-three. Three times. No. Sorry, twice. Sixteen. Okay, and the answer of this is seven. Now you don't have any numbers left over to bring down to help you solve this problem, so the answer is seven, seven, four, two. Remainder are seven, seven. So it's just pretty much this with the labeling what you have left that you can't solve. And yeah, that's pretty much the answer. And lastly, <clears throat> these common multiples, these are actually fairly easy. All you're doing, I'll just show you how to do this one. All you're doing is pretty much just splitting these numbers and you're just kind of going backwards for multiplication. It's kind of, it's not division, but you're just kind of going backwards. So what times what equals five? What times what equals 17, okay? So in this case, it would be like one times five, right? Because this is the only thing that would work. 17, one times 17, because this is the only thing that would work, right? And it's asking you pretty much what the least common multiple is. So what time, what are, what are these similarities? That, like what what is the most the similar one, the value that multiplies into both numbers, but it's also the least, the least common. Um, so the answer with this would be one, because um, it still has to be a common multiple, so one and one are common. But um, it has to be the smallest. So if it, if there were like multiple common multiples, you're trying to find the one with the, that appears the, the least. All right. So one, and that's pretty much it for this. Um, you guys shouldn't have too much of a trouble with this. Make sure you understand it though. It's kind of very important. It will be very important in your future because you'll do this pretty much all the time. And um, have a great week. I'll see you guys for lesson 16. And yeah, bye-bye.